In this video, we are going to graph two different ellipses, um, and we're going to plot all the points. We're going to figure out what the standard form is, if we need to adjust, where's the center, where the vertices, and where the focal points are. So, um, first thing is, we want to make sure that we have an in-standard form. Standard form looks like that. So that is standard form. Nothing for us to do. So that's just x squared over 36 plus y squared over 25 equals 1. All right. So <clears throat> first thing I want to talk about is that this is going to be a horizontal ellipse. It's going to be a horizontal ellipse because the value under the x's are bigger than the value under the y's. That this is your a value. And so um, this is your a squared value is 36. So that makes your a value the square root of that. And this is 25, which makes your b value the square root of that. Those values play a very important role. Those are going to be how far left and right we go from the center, how far up and down we go. So you're going to go more left and right than you are up and down. So you can kind of see right away that that's a horizontal ellipse. So also, we, our center is going to be at 0, 0, because there is no plus or minus values in here. So your center is at 0, 0. So we'll start by plotting that. And then we're going to go left and right 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we're going to go up and down 5. Okay. So it's pretty circular um, because there's not a huge difference between the left and right and the up and down. So the closer these two are together, the more circular they become. In fact, when these two equal each other, then it is a circle. So if you had an over 36 and an over 36, you really have a, a circle. You have a circle written in the form of an ellipse, but a circle is a special case of an ellipse. So, <clears throat> um, so it, even if you're going through a problem and you don't even realize that you don't have a circle or you, you don't have an ellipse, you actually have a circle, you can treat circles and ellipses exactly the same and they'll all graph out totally fine. So um, we have our focal points, or we have our, our points, our vertices are going to be on the major axis. So that's one of them and that's the other. And make sure you realize that those are coordinates. So we'll write that as zero, three, and then zero, negative three. Oops. I'm not sure where that comes from. Uh, let's try that again. That should be a negative six, zero, and a six, zero. Um, those are your focal or your vertices. Your focal points are going to be on the major axis, and they're going to come from us take, finding the difference between our denominators. So this is where I don't have to remember a formula. I just have to remember that I'm going to find the difference between them. So hopefully, naturally, I just take the bigger one minus the smaller one. So if I find the difference between them, I get 11. And if I square root it, I get C to be plus or minus the square root of 11. So that plus and minus is really just a direction thing. Really, you can just treat it as a plus. So we're going to go the square root of 11, which is somewhere between 3 and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So somewhere in between. 1, 2, 3, and 4 somewhere in between. And the more circular your graph is, the closer these focal points will be to the actual center. And when it is a circle, your focal points are in the center. So um, so your foci, foci, don't know how to say it, um, is going to be, um, it's going to be two coordinates. One of them is going to be a negative square root of 11, 0. And then the second one is going to be just the square root of 11 zero. Okay, and that's everything for that graph. Um, the second graph is just not in the same form as this, so we need to basically make it equal to one. So to make it equal to one, we're going to divide by 36 on every single piece. So we simplify this. This becomes x squared over 4, this becomes y squared over 9, because 9 goes into 36 4 times, 4 goes into 36 9 times, and that just becomes 1. So that is your standard form. So your standard form is x squared over 4 plus y squared over 9 
equaling one. All right, and so um, we have our B value this time. So the value under the Y is bigger than the value under the X. Your B is gonna be the square root of that, which is three, and your A is gonna be two. So you have more up and down than you do left and right. We're still centered at zero, zero, because there's no plus or minus on there. We're gonna go up three, down three, left two, and right two. So left and right two, up and down three. Our center is at zero, zero. Our vertices are only on the major axis. So our major axis consists of this point. So zero, three, and zero, negative three. And then our focal point is gonna be back again. Your C squared is gonna be the difference between your denominators. So nine minus four. So again, hopefully you just naturally take the biggest one minus the smaller one, which is gonna be five. So your C value is plus or minus the square root of five. So square root of five is a little bit over four, or a little, a little bit over four, which makes it a little bit over two if you square root that. So somewhere there and somewhere there. So your focal points is we went up and down. So we are um, zero square root of five and zero negative square root of five. And that should cover everything on that graph. Um, so the next two examples that we'll do, uh, or the next example that we're gonna do is what if it's not in this form? What if it's not like this is our, that, that's our standard form, that's our graphing form, but what if it's not? And, and, and I mean more than this thing where you don't just divide by 36, where you have x squares and x's and y's and y squares. We'll have to complete the square um, to be able to get this thing ready to graph. And we'll do that on the next bin.